Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and the young lady who sent me this file to help her with uh, gave me the okay to share it. So I'm going to share it on my Facebook page, which is Corel Draw One Word File Share. It'll be up there in a few minutes, and yours will be like this. I wasn't going to make a video just to share this, but I thought I'd share how you could make it cut out better, and yours will be like this when you get it, when you open the file. But it's there's a, the cut order is not 100%, so we're going to delete all this, and we're going to take just this section, and we're going to go up to object, and we're going to break curve apart. So now the individual objects are individual. We're going to set our nudge factor on five inches, and we're going to take this outer layer, and we're going to nudge it over just so we can grab it. Then we're going to go up to Windows, Dockers, Objects, and you can see all the different curves, and if you click on it, that curve is right here. Well, it needs to cut out last, because if you don't, this one will cut out last, and if this falls, your laser bed's a little bit off, you know, warped or whatever. Uh, it's always better to cut out the interior part. So all you have to do is take this part and just grab it and just move it up above there. So now, because most print, and I, I shouldn't say all, but in a Corel, in an epilogue laser, it's going to print from the bottom up. And I would think that would be the same. So then you can put this back. So your file will be all like this. And we can go ahead and group it together, and it's still going to cut out in that order. Because if we look at the group, the this part is still at the top. So enjoy putting that chair together and your file will look like this with the exception of the two pictures. And if you just kind of look at the look at the picture on how to put it together, let me back up one more time, get that picture up. So this curved part goes on the top, the seat part, and this rounded part goes up front, so it has a square back. Uh, and I've got several videos and I might even put a link on how you could resize this. Because this chair, it was actually in millimeters when I got it. I'm trying to grab the pick tool. A lot of times you can hit the space bar and get it. So this chair, if we take it and rotate it where it'd be flat, this chair is uh, six inches tall, or a little bit more than six inches tall. And I'll put a link on how to resize it. Now this is cut out to use eighth inch plywood. And I've got another video on how to test these joints. Uh, you might want to test them on your plywood because not all plywood's the same. Anyway, have fun cutting and hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.